So really, um, there's two parts to this. I'm going to show you a very cheap camera bank pack. It's from Amazon, as you can see. So that's a quick review of something that's a uh, cheap but very nice case, I think, from what I've seen on the web. I'll find out soon enough. But the other thing I'm doing is testing the two Sonys. And that one is the HX50, and that one is the, the older one, the HX30V. I want to compare them directly. So far, I'm unimpressed with the 50, which is the newer model. Um, honestly, from what I'm seeing, you'd be better getting the 30, I think. Uh, but I'm going to keep testing to see if I've made a mistake with settings, or is the camera faulty, or whatever. So anyway, I'll continue with the rest of this review. Uh, so let me start that properly now. Hi YouTube, so what I've got today is an unboxing of an Amazon Basic uh, camera backpack. If you have a fair amount of equipment, it's quite nice size and so on. So let's have a look. Let me get into this. Uh, and actually show you what's inside. Now they say that this is the basic packaging which means it shouldn't come with massive amounts of bubble wrap and so on and so once we open into this it should be um, immediately obvious what we've got. So let's just do that. I'm actually finding this rather confusing now because when I play this back the output from the Sony 50, the HX50 is definitely better to my eyes than the output from the 30V. Now when I shot some uh, images or some video in the studio last week and you can see that on a previous video I found the opposite to be the case and the 50 appeared to be worse than the 30. Now this video has been shot in good daylight and I think that must be the difference. I think in good daylight you get good results with the 50 and better results by the looks of things than you do with the older version, the 30V. I'm going to have to do more testing on this to find out exactly what the limitations are, but right now this has left me completely confused because my initial response to this was that the 50 wasn't really a good upgrade and yet I'm seeing something different now in daylight. So it may be a function to do with uh, the amount of light, it may be that there's some fault with the camera. I don't know. I'll keep finding out and I will let you know as soon as I can. Um, but overall, I'm left with no conclusions that I can give you at this stage. Thanks for watching. I have a ton of new videos coming, so please subscribe to make sure that you don't miss any. You can watch my latest videos just by clicking on one of the thumbnails over on the left. I'll see you next time and don't forget to subscribe.